today on NYSE Floor Talk here at LTF 2024 in Miami is Sandro Reese. He is the founder and CEO at OpenCo. Sandro, it's always great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Good to see you, Judy. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. So now, Sandro, how do you see OpenCo impacting Brazil's fintech scene in the next five years? Well, we have been in the fintech scene in Brazil for the past 10 years now. Uh, we started lending unsecured to consumers. Uh, now we have a full platform that can finance a point of sale, handle payments, uh, credit for consumers, for SMEs, and also for uh, uh, business partners in credit as a service. So uh, we uh, are probably one of the leading embedded finance companies in Brazil today. Can you share with me any upcoming innovations that you're excited about? The PIX uh, agenda in Brazil, the instant payments uh, by the central bank, uh, has some very interesting developments, disintermediating the acquirer uh, networks, credit card uh, uh, payment uh, systems. Uh, that will greatly transform the way people buy and pay uh, for things in installments uh, in particular, uh, which is something that we are very excited about at OpenCore. Now, with the goal of lowering interest rates and scaling operations, what are the main challenges that OpenCo faces? And tell me, how will you address them? I guess this, the key challenge today is less about data than in the past. In a few, if you ask me this question uh, 10 years ago, data and access to data about uh, clients would be probably the biggest pain point. Uh, nowadays, it's not as bad. Uh, still has a lot to improve, but still but not as bad. Cost of capital and availability of capital for uh, funding credit portfolios is probably where uh, the biggest pain point is today. Uh, the Brazilian debt capital markets went through a couple of hiccups recently, and this hurt a lot of uh, the asset managers that play in this uh, space. Uh, but it's slowly picking up again, and uh, uh, since m most of our funding is done through securitization and debt capital markets, this is a very relevant uh, uh, challenge in reducing cost of capital and interest rates altogether. So Sandra, we're here at LTF 2024. Tell me, what are you hoping to gain from this gathering of experts and leaders? Well, this is, this is an outstanding meeting uh, of, of like-minded people. It's always good to, to hear and see the general feeling of the entrepreneur group uh, and uh, also how everyone is dealing with uh, AI and, and this wave of uh, efficiency and innovation that comes along with it. Right? Now, as you look to the year ahead, what are you most focused on? What are your priorities? Uh, we are very focused on launching and uh, developing uh, relationships with merchants and and uh, marketplaces uh, in our uh, buy now pay later and payment uh, products. Um, we are also uh, excited about uh, our uh, ability to service and promote our existing clients uh, in what we expect to be a better uh, cycle for for consumption and usage of credit. So, so yeah, that, that that's the kind of stuff we are happy about for this year. We're looking at. And Sandro, you're you're a tech CEO. If you could come up with one gadget that could make your life easier, what would it be? I would love to have an assistant that does my follow-ups for me, because. You take meetings, you agree to stuff, and then you have to follow up with everything, uh, and it becomes a lot. So, so maybe uh, an AI-powered AI powered assistant for that would be great. Okay. All right. Well, Sandra, it's always wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me at Floor Talk today. Well, thanks. Thanks, Judy.